Just needs one more frame to book his place into the round of 32 and a meeting with Stephen Maguire. It has to be said the first four frames was very much one-way traffic. been a good little run out this for Xiao Gadong. Obviously the match is you know, virtually over. Taking into consideration what we've seen before the interval, Xiao Gadong's been in excellent form. It's just been nice to see the young man get a decent chance in close. He's potted a few nice balls in the match so far, but he's not really been in with a great scoring chance. I say it'd be nice to see him get in with the balls spread far and wide. one that time and miss hit that one. It wasn't easy, mind you, but quite fortunate to get the white back in bulk. an excellent safety. That's as good a shot as he's played in the match. on Eurosport 1, Sean Murphy is in action. He'll be resuming his match against uh, Udaloo. Two frames all, I believe, that is at the mid-session interval. So Murphy being tested there. <coughs> yeah, can he just manage to drop the cue ball in behind the brown again? Right, decided to play it thinner in behind yellow. I don't think that was the, the best choice. This time Zhao Gadong shouldn't have any trouble getting back to bulk. If you were in that uh Wan Sijun's corner, Alan, at the mid-session interval. What would you be saying to him? Well, I mean, it's it's difficult to give such a young player, you know, advice that he's going to sort of listen to. Obviously, he's got no experience at this level of uh, competing in this type of match. But you know, you would say to him to just try and show a little bit more patience. I know it's not easy, but just to play just you know two or three more safety shots than what he's used to playing, just to create a couple of openings, which in fact, he's just created one. As I say, just by playing two or three decent safety shots, sometimes that's enough. You know, you've got to carve your chances. One. You know, create your own opportunities. That's really not what he's done in the match so far. Oh, that was an excellent shot in the blue. He just needs a little bit of luck here to drop in a red. a bit on 
forts and it still has the thin red to the right centre. Well, in fact, it will just squeeze past the blue. And the pattern continues, doesn't it, for the youngster? He needed that to run on and unfortunately what well, Hudong uh, has got in but he's faced with a a tricky shot choice here. if he elects to pot he's got possibly a long blue the pink he's looking at in the centre far from easy though yeah tough shot this in the pink looks like he is taking it on just dead weight lost the cue ball so he wouldn't be too disappointed with that at least the cue balls found its way somehow back to bulk so once again it's just key for the youngster to just try and create some openings quite all the eggs in one basket there but it was one of those shots that, you know if you miss it you're going to sell the game it's pretty close though wasn't it Alan you just can't afford to do that although Kudong has made an error yeah that was a loose one just taking his eye off the positional side of the shot there a little shake of the head tells you that obviously he'd be thrilled with a 4-0 lead but you don't really want a mid-session interval then, do you? You want to finish it off? Yeah, you just want to get the match closed out as quickly as you can. And he's fortunate there not to leave a red, but he could be in more trouble again. This time the white will pretty much guaranteed be somewhere in behind the brown. Looks like a natural half ball angle to nestle in behind it. Once again, <laughs> he didn't shy away from it, did he? He needs you in his corner, Alan. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to be too critical, isn't it? You yeah. Know, he's 13 years of age, and uh, he's got, <laughs> you know, he's got plenty to learn, them, and he's got plenty of time to learn. Is the other point? That was a mile away from Gu Dong. He's gone off as well at the moment. But going back to what you were saying, and that's a good point. He's only 13. He is going to be fearless. As you said, he hasn't got the experience yet, but you want to, to see that fearless, fearlessness as well. And he, he will learn, won't he, in terms of other aspects of the game. And we've seen enough, even if he is 4-0 down, to suggest that at 13 years of age, there's a frightening a lot of ability there. Yeah, he certainly doesn't lack for ability. As we said earlier, he's knocked a few really nice balls in, in the match. I think he would do well, in fact, at going away you know, go back home and maybe watch a, a video of this match with maybe, I'm, I'm sure he probably does have a coach and just go through each frame, yeah, he's made another just basic error there yeah, that was not good mm. to be fair to me, he knew straight away yeah, as I say, it'd be a good idea to maybe just go away and watch a rerun of the match and just look at his shot selection I think he would learn what? plenty from that. But as I say, he's got plenty of time on his hands. It's very early here. There is a slight possibility he might have played his last shot in this match. We'll see. That blue passed to the right corner. I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. 
plenty to go at here for Zhao Gadong. Two or three reds on this time. Playing here for a choice of pink or blue. Yeah, just keen to get that blue shifted, get it back up onto its own spot. Shower comes through here. As I said, he will face Stephen Maguire in the round of 32. It's in the same quarter, actually, as the defending champion, John Higgins. He plays Mike Dunn later today. Excellent match to look forward to as well. Mark Davis against Ali Carter. Davis has been in terrific form, hasn't he? Won the sixth Reds World Championship again. Won in Hong Kong recently in an invitation event. And up against Ali Carter, who's had uh, some battles off the table, as we know. Great to see him back. And he's actually won this title as well, Ali Carter. Will be a terrific match, that one. Yeah, that's one to look forward to. And as as you said, Tim, another one to look forward to, Zhao Gadong against Stephen Maguire. He's not been tested match-wise today, of course, Zhao Gadong. You certainly know he's going to be tested against Stephen Maguire, one of the best players in the world. But uh, he's shown enough today suggest that he's in good form and he's going to give Stephen Maguire a match, that's for sure. Oh, that was a surprise. wasn't a bad shot, wasn't it? It was a couple of reds previous, uh, sorry, one red previous to that where he dropped short in the blue. Again, Shao able to put his hand on the table and he sinks that red. Still a bit of work to be done, but he's just getting plenty of chances. Yeah, as you say, Tim, chance after chance, isn't it? And I fully expect him to put the match to bed this time. I believe this, you see there, already 21. Six. Four or five loose reds to go at. Should wrap the match up here and now. So uh, Gu Dong then on the verge of completing a 5-0 win here. Certainly be looking forward to seeing two Ciao. names who haven't qualified for the full ranking events. Kyron Wilson, one of those, who's qualified for Shanghai with some really good performances in the qualifiers, and David Grace as well. actually have avoided the wild cards. David Grace plays the World Championship runner-up Barry Hawkins. Kyron Wilson will play Stuart Bingham. But here, Xiao Dong hasn't missed a great deal, one or two, but on the whole, he's looked pretty assured. Yeah, as we've said, it's been a good run out for Zhao Gadong. Just putting the finishing touches to the match now. Just two or three shots away from securing the victory. As Alan says, he's looked solid. Made a century in the match. But he has been presented lots of opportunities. Slightly awkward queuing here. Oh. He will obviously face a much sterner test against Stephen Maguire in the next round.
So 48 is the difference. 43 left on the table. Make that 54 now. Might still continue. Well, that's dropped and he won't continue now. In fact, he offers a hand, a little smile from the 13-year-old Quan Zijun. And uh, Zhang Gudong has won by five frames to nil here. He's won very comfortably indeed. Made a high break of 122 and he cruises into the round of 32 and a meeting against Stephen Maguire here in the Shanghai Masters.